Hey guys, alright, um, this is my, how I uh, display my model, whoops, sorry. Um, this is a clip, uh, my living diorama of a clipper ship that went down in 1891. Nah, just fallen. But, um, yeah, well, that's one that never made the cut. Actually got destroyed by a cat. So, yeah, it's now a living piece, so, fish like it. All good. All right. Well, we're going wobbly wobbly, so hang on, and we'll swing you around through the workshop. I have. Oh, I want that. I have been busy most of the day cleaning. Actually, using my airbrush and a nice big soft fluffy brush, and I've been cleaning. There will be pictures at the end, but I started with my Melvin. She's currently sitting, waiting refit, along with the trawler, which I have stripped down, sanded, and started working on. So, the trawler's undergoing works. And, oops, bumped the chair. Good one. And, um, yeah, I'll just get that name played out of the way, but, yeah, there's them two. So, their works, works in waiting crap everywhere but you get that when you got a tiny workshop that's the victory she's currently in a holding pattern as well and um i don't know so starting with the big t oh can't even read that big t um she took me oh god oh, and about an hour to clean her but um she was the second uh, plank plank on frame build that I attempted. The trawler was the first, hence why the trawler is completely fallen to pieces. And if you're wondering, yes, there is a mirror in the background. That is probably one of the only photos I actually have of her build, the Titanic build. Let's see if I can bring that up for you. Yeah, not really going to work. But those white strips on the hull are actually cardboard templates that make that those raised raised ribs um, the te uh, those cardboard templates are for the 1500 and something portholes so each one of those little raised pieces is actually a um, it's like a rivet with a hole through it and I had to drill every single bloody hole by hand so uh yeah Ryan I know what you mean by it hurts to drill a lot of holes mate well yeah so we got that one and we slip slip over to my big girl both of these ships plank on frame this one is actually the PE from hell because basically all the external pieces on the superstructure are a timber frame with a PE over the top and then there's all various little bits and pieces and bits and bobs and this and that that's added uh, that's me two good ships and down here we got the Dodge that I was the third person to attempt to complete this and I've actually got quite a few uh, slide slideshows of that one where I had to completely oh, I'm still long enough it might focus for me to completely strip it down to each individual piece even pulled all the engine apart and everything managed to separate all the seams uh, purple pond it, I think you guys call it. I just call it soaking it in brake fluid. But anyway, that got the uh, first initial red layer of paint off, and then the an other layer of yellow paint that was over the top under that. So that's that. Uh, sliding over here, we got one of my uh, Mustang planes that I actually built for my boy. Him and I built them together. He wanted to do a Tuskegee Airmen thing for a school project. So we did one, which is fresh out of the factory. And we did another one that was all weathered. 
and looking like she'd been through hell and yeah well fitting but anyway um sliding right along we'll ignore that blue pos it's down the back there that was a, a another someone started it never wanted to finish it and my boy and I wanted, well, my boy wanted to do something with me. It's just a Ford Explorer, piece of crap. And then, yeah, well, damn it, crew have been into the rum again. I must have bumped them. And then, yeah, got the pearl, which is in a holding pattern as well, due to the fact that, oh yeah, there's a two die cast, my musty in a a um, pick up the fact that uh, I'm working on this so that's where I'm at and um, yeah too easy guys fair winds and following seas later Secure from battle stations. 